Good morning. Let's get a little yoga this morning. We're going to do a little meditation, some breathing. Start ourselves off here. Just taking a little time to quiet the mind this morning. Let's see. Need a little bit of A little bit of background music for us. Seated comfortably to start. <sighs> Looks like my camera's a little tilted here. Let's just get it straightened out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Seated. We were going to do some outdoor yoga this morning over at the neighbors, the neighborhood here, but the air quality is just a little too rough. Just a little too hard. I did one last night last um, afternoon and my throat was burning this morning I'm coughing so just like you know what let's just stay indoors stay safe and try to do a little inward work just starting with some breathing some pranayama Just some easy meditation, some meditative breathing. So really focusing on where the breath comes in through the nose, down through the throat, expanding through the lungs. Just that gentle rhythm. Just clearing the throat, clearing the air passageways. Taking some time to just be being aware, being present. That steady breathing, keeping your focus as long as you can. (sighs) 
A few noisy breaths, ujjayi breaths, so narrowing the air passageway through the throat to create a little noise. We'll let the chin, <clears throat> let the chin come forward. And then release the shoulders, release the head, just rolling down into your lap. Pull the belly in, start to lift the spine, slowly coming up and reset the shoulders and the head, ear to shoulder. Up over the top, ear to shoulder. And center shoulders up and around. Get some movement through the back, the chest, up a little bit through the neck. Checking in with that upper body. And we'll set the shoulders, a little rotation. We're coming down through the spine as we rotate. Side reaching, lift and hold. Just reaching right up towards the sky. And bring it in, other side, big reach, reaching right up towards the sky. And around the back, lifting through the chest, the chin, open the throat. Release those arms right up to the top, we'll come forward. A little more support from the arms. Scoop out the belly. Rolling it up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Walk those hands over to one side. And we'll walk it right over to the other side. Back to center, rolling it up. Set the shoulders, draw the arms back. We're just going to lean back with a lift. If you want to switch the legs. And we'll inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Oh. 
And we'll walk it over to one side. Walk it right over to the other side. And center coming up. Reset the shoulders. Inhale, press. We're just getting a little interlace. Draw the elbows in by your ears up through the ribs, a little twist, just trying to draw the chest around to one side, keeping the arms long, chest around to the other side, keeping the arms long, and center release. <sighs> arms extend, we're just going to reach, let the head Drop over towards the shoulder, arm comes up, slowly bringing the arm back, lengthening over the top of the shoulder, and up, palm press, head drops over towards the shoulder, Reach and slowly return, lengthening down the neck and the shoulder. And center. Feels like the head is nicely balanced right on top of the spine. We'll bring the palms in, press, lift the elbows as much as you can. We're trying to flatten it out. Palms, fingers, some energy through the hands. And then we'll open, so drawing the elbows straight back like you have a ball of energy between the hands open. And then drop those fingers. We're just gonna draw the backs of the hands together and pressing the pinkies and the thumb together. Trying to keep that lift through the elbows, cross the shoulder, pinkies and thumbs together. And open. Fingers just straight out. And we'll bring it in. We're going to interlace those fingers, palms up, press. Elbows coming in again towards the ears, up through the ribs, coming forward. And rolling up, right up from the belly, back, shoulders, and head. Again, just soften the eyes, take a moment to breathe. Just bringing your focus, your awareness inward. Just doing a little body scan, checking in feeling the whole body from the inside, so from the crown of the head down over the face and the scalp. And just as you go down, transforming each cell
renewing each cell Keep going down over the shoulders, the throat, chest, and back. And moving down over the belly the ribs, the hips, and the pelvis. Down over the arms and the legs, shoulders, hips, knees, elbows, wrists, and ankles. Right out the fingers and the toes. It takes some good concentration, some work to stay focused and then release it. We'll inhale up, expand, inhale, folding, Pull the belly button and rolling right back up. And then we'll move into a flat back. So hands and knees, pressing into child's pose. And again, just settling the body. Take that moment to go inward. So that child's pose, just making yourself as comfortable as you can, that connection to the earth, to yourself, feel those back ribs expand and contract as you breathe into your back. Taking some time to work the ribs that connect into the spine. The little muscles that move in between each rib, intercostal muscles. And then we'll come on up. Tuck the toes, down dog. Just a little work through the feet. We want to make sure that the Achilles are warm before we start moving into standing poses. So a little press, ankle up through the calf. Easy stretch. If you want to work the tops of the feet, toes, giving a little attention to the feet and the hands. 
So palms open, so we're not pressing just into the heel of the hand. We're pressing into each finger, the thumb, the ball of the hand, the, the right at the base of each finger should be pressing. And then gently letting the chest press through, opening up the chest, shoulders, and we'll let the knees drop. Child's pose. Again, just a few meditative breaths. Breathing from the belly. Breathing into the back and the spine. And if you can, just a little roll across the forehead. Feel that lift, pelvic floor lift. And keep lifting, keep drawing in as you breathe. We'll come up, hands and knees. Inhale to cow. Take a moment, the top of the breath. Exhale to cat. Take a moment at the bottom of the breath. Inhaling up. Just moving slow with very definite reason, with definite of where you're going. with purpose. Coming back to center, child's pose. Let those arms extend. We're just gonna lift the palms, a little energy in the center of the hand. So make your fingers like little legs, lift the palm, and then release. And we'll do it again. Lift the palm, squeeze, contracting the center of the hand. And release. We're going to roll it up, sitting back towards the heels just for a moment. Tops of the feet. Open up the chest. And we'll bring the palms in and then turn it over and draw the tops of the hands in. So we're not overextending the wrist this way, but we're getting a little bit of a stretch the other way as well. So I'm bringing the fingers in a little bit. And then we'll come up right over the knees. So if you need a little extra padding, you can always double up. 
knees, a little back bend. It doesn't have to be much. It's just enough to activate the back, the glutes, and the hamstrings, drawing your shoulders back. A little lift of the chin, so this long length right up the front of the body. Hang on to it. One more big full breath and recover. Stepping through, plant that front heel, gently pressing in, just letting the hips come forward to your level. If you need more support, the knee. And lifting through the chest. So again, taking a moment, you've got a little extra support from the knee to get a bigger breath, expanding through the chest. Feel a deepening through those lower abdominals, supporting the lower back and the hips. And we'll press back, switch it, so leg in. Gently, again, letting the hips press forward just to your level. Ankle right under the knee. Really feel that heel holding you. And we'll push back. Let's bring it in. Knees underneath. A little tightening of the glutes underneath. And we're going to come into our gate pose. So one leg. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see a little better. One leg turned right out. Try to flatten your foot. So you can't quite see my foot. But the foot is flat against the floor. We're going to open up the arms. A little tip towards the leg for support. Easy. This long line all the way up the side of the body. And bring it in. A little twist. So just reaching across and tipping towards that leg. Come right back up, open it up, arms, and we'll bring it in. We're going to switch. So knee, foot flat on the floor, open up the arms. Think very tall, especially up the supporting side. Rage. And come on in. Opposite arm comes around. Reach towards the leg. A little tip over. And come on up, unwind it, and we'll bring the palms in, knees in. Pressing back off, if you doubled up the mat, go ahead and stretch it out again. Palms to the front, toes in the back, right back to our down dog. So I want you to take a few breaths here. So stabilize hands and feet, making that upside down V shape. 
And then just some breaths, again, moving through the body with your awareness. The head released is just dangling from the shoulders, arms and legs supporting that apex right at the tailbone, tipping up. Scoop out the belly. Hang on. One more big, full breath. Really fill up the lungs. And then we'll walk those feet up to the front, coming into a forward fold. Get your feet underneath of you if you need some support, a block or a chair, a stool, whatever you have for support. Soft knees, pull the belly in, slow roll up. Big shoulder roll. Reset the shoulders. Just a little mountain pose here. Take a moment. Just to be still, feel the weight evenly over your feet. Drawing the chin in. Just feeling vital, feeling whole, healed, happy, positive. If you're hanging on to any negative energy, just acknowledge it, let it go. We're going to bring the palms in. A little lift, ankles. So this is a little balance for us. If you want to take the arms up, a little extended balance. Centered, let those heels drop, arms. We'll take the arms forward, coming into our chair. So we're just moving into poses with some purpose and then holding this morning. We want to just feel what it really feels like in each pose with some strength, with some purpose. Pressing into the heels, reaching back with the hips, drawing in through the core, lifted through the chest. So we're not tipping the chest forward. We wanna stay lifted. Arms can be right out in front. If you wanna take them up higher, And then we'll lift the hips, fold, release the head, get a little support here. Give the head a little shake out, no, and yes. Always working that positive We'll scoop out the belly, inhale to monkey. Monkey pose. 
So working the back like a table, like a shelf, the arms are our brackets supporting supports underneath of us, as well as the legs. You can draw the chin in a little bit, flattening the back of the neck, or creating a little more of a back bend, lifting the tailbone, lifting the chin. Drawing the shoulders back towards the hips. And release. Let it all go. Again, a little shake out. No and yes. Soft knees rolling up. Push the feet down as you come up. A little shoulder roll. A couple of big noisy breaths just to draw our focus right back in towards the center, some breathing. And then we'll open it up. So feet kind of wide. And we'll take the palms out, palms up. So just turning the palms up to open up the shoulder. So it's a little different, little different angle for the shoulder with the palms up. Extend through the fingers. <sighs> Lifting from the sternum. Energy right out through the legs, the arms, and right out the top of the head. So this is our five-pointed star. Energy all five directions. And really try to feel like there is energy. Energy right out through the fingertips, through the feet, the soles of the feet, and the crown of the head like a laser beam. Comes from your center. Fill up the lungs. We're going to tip it forward, coming from the hips all the way down, and release the arms. So a little support. If you can't reach, maybe try opening up the feet a little more, or again, using a block or a stool, something that gives you a little support right underneath of you. So take a moment here, hips, even weight over both feet, a little lift through the arches. So the arches of the feet are energized. We're gently pressing to the outer edge of the foot. So the baby toe side of the foot is pressing. There's a little energy up through the arches that comes up the leg. Pelvic floor, drawing in, really lift those deeper internal muscles. Back of the neck is long. We're going to take a little breath, inhale, reach, open the chest, keep reaching, keep breathing, try to get even weight over your feet and then release. Other side, inhale, reach. Trying to take your gaze with your hand and your arm. Even weight over both feet and release. Other side. And release one more. 
moving in with purpose. Really feeling and release. Let the head go. We're going to get a deeper fold here, but the energy coming down the spine, down the back of the neck, top of the head. And then we'll come up flat back all the way up. Let's take those arms up top. Just an interlace here, the fingers, send a couple of fingers up. Lots of lift up through the ribs. So it comes up the outside of the legs, up through the outside of the hips, through the torso, arms, fingertips. Energy, all about energy and the vibration of that energy, your frequency. We'll take a little lateral, easy, trying to keep the energy moving. Right up to the top, release the arms. Around the back, just lifting from the sternum again. So it almost feels like a little back bend. And release. We're going to step to the front. Bring those feet in. Inhale up. Swan dive down. Monkey, lift the chin. Stepping back. Down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale down. Inhale, Cobra. Tucking the toes, press all the way back. And again, just holding that down dog position. Drawing the knees back. Let's bring the knees down. Child's pose, just sink right in. Letting the body melt into the floor, into the earth. And then we'll draw the arms out. We're just going to take the arms straight out from the shoulder. Letting the chest, the shoulders kind of sink down. Some energy out the arm and right out the fingertips. Like you're trying to wrap your arms around the earth.
all the way around the whole earth, a big hug. Focusing in on your breathing, just a couple more expanding breaths through the ribs. And then we'll take those arms right down towards the feet. Pull the belly in, roll it up, reset the shoulders. And again, if you want to just let the heels drop out towards the sides, lengthening up the front of the leg, the shin, the tops of the feet, or a little support is always welcome because we want to be able to sit in our hero pose for just a few moments to breathe. Really listening to your breathing, each breath as it comes in, as it goes out. Feeling the movement that it makes, the diaphragm moving, the ribs. Feeling the air moving through the nostrils, through the throat. And then we're going to walk those hands back. So make sure you've got some room behind you. You can use the block here for a little support for the arms or just using the floor, opening up the chest. So if this one doesn't feel right for you, you can always come up into your camel and do a camel. Get lots of support from the tops of the hips, keeping the glutes tight. If you can do it from the floor, opening up the chest, pressing the hips, letting the head drop, open the throat. Keeping the glutes tight, the whole front of the body lengthening and open. Full, expanding breaths. One more big breath in. And we'll release the hips. Come into a child's pose. 
if you want to open up the knees a little more in your child's pose, let the chest sink down between the knees. pelvic floor, drawing in everything else released. Really focusing in on the pelvic floor and letting everything else go. You can take those arms behind the back if you want to come into more of a rabbit pose, pressing up over the knees, arching the back, bringing the arms up. Trying not to put a lot of weight on the head, but feeling the crown of the head, just barely touching really drawing in through the belly, keep your core strong. And then we'll roll it up. Come forward, we'll have a seat. So again, comfortably seated. Again, just taking some time to go inward. This is where the real work is, clearing your thoughts, quiet your mind. Listening to your breathing, feel where the breath comes in and out of the body, right around the nostrils, a little anapana.
And we'll just finish off where we started here with our meditation centered. Feeling gratitude. You can stay with the meditation for as long as you'd like. If you find your thoughts wandering, drifting, just acknowledge the thoughts and bring your focus right back to your breathing. Bring your focus inward. Our meditation practice is just that. Just a gentle reminder to come back to that focus point. Take a couple of big cleansing breaths. Full inhalation. Full exhalation. And again, you can stay with your meditation for a while if you'd like, or if you would like to finish up, we'll bring the palms in, peace, namaste. Giving thanks. Thank you for joining me this morning. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Healthy. Stay out of the smoke as much as you can. Hi, Marie. Thank you. Hi, Anthony. Thank you for joining. Hi, John. Have a good one.